Welcome back, my name is Jesse, aka DJ Dark X, and today I'm doing another tutorial for Pixel Game Maker MV. Today we're going to be learning about how to send your object or objects through a platform uh, like you can in old classic uh, games such as uh, Castlevania and stuff like that, where you're able to go through like f through the bottom of a platform, but also be able to jump down through the, the same platform depending on how you set it up. Uh, honestly, uh, you can it, this can be done with slopes or with just tiles, but today I'm just going to be showing slopes. It's relatively easy, although you just need to know how to do the setup in the first place. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my controller. It'll be a little easier that way. Okay, right. so how do we get this started? Let's go ahead and take a look at the scene real quick. Let's go down to 100. So as you can see here in the main in the main uh, layer, I actually thought of doing layers, but actually that's for me that's not the best way to do it. You can basically switch layers and then have them just change it back, and that could probably work for some types of uh of, of I guess the best way to do to think of it is that if you want to do it so that this way you have the uh well like it's it, well I can't really explain right now because my my brain's not really working right now but it it can it can be done several ways but the way I'm doing it just allows you to have very smooth control and you can actually uh, control it with animation frames and with jump strength gravity etc cetera, etc cetera. I'll show you what I mean first let's actually see what it looks like when it's working shall we shall we Okay, so we can normally just go up and down the stairs. Now, I could go down through that set of stairs, but I don't want to go into the water and thus, you know, okay. So as you can see, you know, we're able to use the slope just like normal. If I go up the slope, that has, that's what happens. Now, if I press down to crouch and then jump, I go through it. Now, if I try to walk this way, there you go, same result. If I go down from the bottom of the stairs, still works. Although, as you can see, watch what happens. Now, let me see. Let me get down to the very bottom. If you can see that, basically the character still kind of clips through the bottom set of these tiles. Not a good thing. This is basically where moving layers would really work but honestly i think this just works really well still because most people aren't going to be doing that unless they're you know unless they're trying to do i guess technically speed running and even then it's just going to cause glitches anyway so you'll still be able to get back up there but it's not it doesn't mean there's not going to be any glitches but okay so now you see how it works, but how do we actually get it to work? As you can see, these slopes have been made to do passable from bottom. You don't want to do uh, passable from top because then you're just going to literally go right through them when you try to go over them. It's not going to work. And if you do passable from bottom, when you go down underneath the slope, that's how you can pass through the slope area, uh, slope area right here, like walk this way. And then walk back up. If you do passable from top, you go right down through, and then you can't get past this. You literally get stuck here. So how does how does this work? How does this method work in particular? First, let's go to objects. I actually have one right here. It's crouch, and then it leads off off to its own little tangent, which I can actually delete this because it's no longer needed. Oh yeah, always always clean up your code as much as you can. Anyway, um, crouch. And then here we have three things. Make sure condition, if all conditions are, or change if all conditions are met. Holding down while you press A, which is jump in this case. Contact from top. Don't set the slope type. So basically what it's saying is, as long as you're pressing down, then you press A while you're on a slope, 
on the top, then it'll go here, drop. Nothing special about this. At least not yet, at least not from what you can see. Then down here, change if any condition is met. And that's just contact with tile walls detection. Then change to fall. Honestly, I don't even really think that's needed. I I can probably change it and it'll it could still work. So let's do if motion animation plays to end. Let's try it again. Yeah, see? Okay. So it's the same thing, really. You can just do... Yeah, because really this relies on the animation. So let's go over here to drop. As you can see, there is no wall detection immediately. And then it comes in on the second to last frame. And it's only a small little square right here, a 2 by 2 square. Why? We want to make it as small as possible because if it's too long, when you're going through the floor, it'll detect it when it up, when it reappears and then shoot you right back up. Believe me, I tried that for a while and that's exactly the result I got. And I, I don't recommend it. The only other way, like I said, to avoid this is moving layers. But I'm going to have to work on that one and then probably give you... Uh, I'd probably do another guide on how to do it that way. I'm probably going to do it both ways. Who knows? I don't know which one's going to work out better. But this is the one that I'm using right now. This is just a basically a quick way to work with it. So I've got 12 frames on both sides. Both have the wall detection taken out for the first well, 10 frames, and then it starts at 11 and ends at 12. So you've got it not only active for two frames, but you need that because once it actually detects a, uh, or once it hits the ground, the floor, it goes right back to idle. It basically brings back the detection, the regular detection that you would get on idle, walk, jump, etc. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's really easy. It's really simple. You can also change the jump effect, gravity effect here, or the initial jump speed and gravity effect. We'll see gravity effect. The higher the gravity, the faster you're going to fall. So that means if you're going to do it, if you're, if you're going through really fast, you, you can actually change the animation for drop. You can make it shorter. Or longer, depending on how long you stay up in the air based on your gravity. So it's actually really simple. Um, again, when I do another, when I do the next guide for how to do it with move layers, it might be smoother, it might be worse, who knows? But I will, I will come up with that guide here in the next couple of days, hopefully. Uh, but until then, I hope that you found this guide useful on how to. Get your object to go through the floor, or, or go through a slope anyway, at least through, the, through a slope, and then be able to, um, you know, get get to the next get to the next area down, uh, without having to worry too much about glitches. But here again, here's hoping that everything works out with also the move layer version. Either way, I hope that you find this guide useful. Uh, my name is Jesse, aka DJ Dark X. You can find me on you. Uh, you can find me here on YouTube uh, under DJ Dark X 2006. Hopefully, I actually aim to change that at some point. But uh, if you like the video, like uh, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you want. If you want more content like this, um, comment if you have any questions. Or you can also find me on Twitter at J Perez underscore T W. Uh, and uh, you can also check the. Uh, the unofficial Pixel Game Maker MV Discord uh, for you can actually find me there as well. I, I I basically post there regularly, and if you need help, you can always ask me or Baz or any of the other people. We are we are extremely helpful 
we do love to help other people as well. But it that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any other if you have any questions or you just want to see more videos like that, well, come on my channel and uh just watch the videos and hopefully they'll be able to help you. All right, well then have a good night and and have fun.